What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Shouldn't talk about Scream 6 in this video here again today. And what you see on your screen is not a joke. It is not anything that should be doubted. It is official. Hayden Panettiere will be back in Scream 6, reprising her role from Scream 4 as Kirby Reed. The Hollywood Reporter reported this earlier in an exclusive update that we got. Like, so this is our second casting confirmation that we got or announcement we got regarding the sixth upcoming entry in the Scream franchise. Shout out to everyone who tagged me. I saw everyone one tell critical overlord make sure critical overlord knows i saw my name tagged by several different people on twitter so shout out to you guys i know that i make a lot of kirby videos and i know a lot of you already know how happy i am about this mostly what i'm happy is that hayden herself as an actress hopefully after this project will be doing a lot of other things i hope this is the start of her getting back into what i grew up watching her do uh i'm a big fan of hers i do enjoy most of her movies uh, I know a lot of you, probably my, myself included, of course, if you're a big fan of the Bring It On series, what she did in that movie I thought was incredible. I loved her and Remember the Titans. Just always been a big fan of her. I think she was in Malcolm in the Middle at one point, too. But I, for whatever reason, when I was a young kid, uh, the character of Kirby Reed was just some something of hers that really just stuck with me. And I've always wanted to see more of that character, and I'm glad we're going to get a chance to see that. I'm glad that the directors, Matt and Tyler, really were obviously trying to... Again, I, I, I believe that that release date we got for Screen 5 was a big sign of them trying to live up to Wes's wishes of what he had talked about doing with Kirby, even though I know Kevin originally had the character die. I'm glad that we are going to get to see more of Hayden Pantier in this, in this role as this character. Seeing her interact with Mindy, Sam, Tara chad hopefully a whole slew of new characters and of course i know everybody has already kind of talked about what if she's the opening kill even if she's the opening kill again what i am mostly just happy about is that hayden pantier seems like she's in a place in her life where she is going to start doing more roles i hope this isn't just a one and done for her i hope she starts to use this to kind of get back into the industry this is a, a great way to return uh, a big major role for her to return into a, a part of a big major franchise that she is a part of and she's going to be back we know in screen five they confirmed that she was alive i know that for the longest time like over a decade the question of herbie Sur kirby survival was up in the air for a while there in between the screen four and fifth movie we got i was like yeah she's dead but then i started weighing the other things involved in it and what wes had stated and the the whole nature of it all seemed like again it was shot in a way that still told you that the character is alive because again at the end of screen four who is that coming inside of the house in the basement before charlie grabs sydney from behind i believe that was kirby returning inside from her wounds where she sat down and of course just probably passed out due to blood loss of course somebody apparently found her in time before she bled to death and i know people say oh well do we then mention her in the hospital again i think there's certain things in place related to health health laws as to why he might not have talked about that with Jill. Uh, Kirby's not a relative of Jill. That's just that's just her friend. It could have also been something in place related to something from her parents when she got admitted to the hospital. But it's nice to know that she will be back. I can't wait to see how we learn about you know all these different things she's been through. How did the events of Screen 4 impact her? Where has this taken her in her life? What is she up to right now? If she is the opening kill, you can still just have us learn certain things about her, get caught up with her. And if she goes out in the opening, I mean, I'm not necessarily saying I'm in agreement with something like that because you have already made it clear you had bigger plans for her. That's why you left her out of screen five. But also, if it comes out that this is what Hayden wanted to do, and like in a way of Drew Barrymore in the opening of screen, and I think many fans would then be like, OK, we understand where she's coming from then. Because if there's still just something in her that doesn't want to come, want to fully return to the industry, but she's doing this to kind of just because she she clearly loves the character she she said it she said it to radio silence themselves i think she mentioned to them when they had reached out to her and set up like a video meeting that she she would love to return as kirby they just didn't do it because they had other plans in mind they didn't want to just make her a glorified cameo which is what i don't think they should do with sydney prescott if you don't have anything substantial for sydney prescott then don't bring her back uh but with kirby now back i think this would make up for a lot of people who are upset about the death of dewey i know a lot of us myself included you don't like that he's dead i do want to say that i'm one of those people who understands why the character was killed per what they wanted to tell for, from what the vision they gave us i see why dewey went it isn't anything that's 
uh, disrespectful to the character. It's not something that's glossed over and never talked about. It's used to add an emotional weight to the narrative. So if they do something like that with Kirby in Scream 6, I might have my criticisms of the fact that, okay, well, you brought her back and now she's just dead. But again, if Kirby Hayden herself wanted it to be done like that because of some other personal reasons, then I'll be fine. I do think that she'll make it out of this movie alive, though. I think that what will end up happening is she'll be in the opening to kind of play with you. You're going to already think, oh, they brought her back just to kill her. But it's not going to be her that dies. It's going to be her counterpart, her uh, significant other who we meet in the opening who dies. And she'll be going into the new story with the new group of cast members, the new new survivors from Woodsboro, and they'll all be connected to each other because it will also be great if she were to make it out of this one alive return for scream 7 now i do want to say that if she were to get killed in scream 6 i'm fine as long as you make it abundantly clear that she's dead and as long as it's done in a way that is i would say heartbreaking but also again adds another layer to the intensity of whatever the final act is going to be like and also a death that serves a purpose not just a death for the sake of oh look we killed another person just like for shock value nothing like that something that adds another weight underneath the already strong narrative i have faith in that we're gonna get and you could just kill off another legacy cast this i, I know many of you would prefer to be kirby before gail and sydney even though i know myself included love kirby to death i'd kill her before gail and sydney i'm just being honest and i don't even i don't even um i don't like gail more than kirby but it's just more so of the fact that gail has paid her dues more than kirby so out of respect i would kill kirby before gail uh, I, of course, prefer Sydney over Kirby, so hell yeah, you're going to die, Kirby, but if they, if they kill her or not, I, I'm just glad she's back. Uh, I don't think she'll die in this movie. If she does die again, it's just what it is, as long as it's done in a respectful way, and if it was what Hayden ended up wanting, then that's just what it will be, but I think she will live. I think she'll make it into Scream 7, and she will end up being a part of this final survivors we have by the time the series is concluded, but are you guys happy that Hayden Pantier is back? Do you think we'll get more news before the end of the week? Let me know down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post in case you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course limited any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video